Hello friends, Stephen Talbot here, and today is Tuesday, January the 9th, 2018, um, and so I just wanted to do a, a little bit of housekeeping. Um, first, this is going to be one of kind of three videos today because I had an issue, which I'll get to in a second, with the video, uh, video I did last night. So I'm going to do, if you have been watching my channel, you'll know that I've been doing a new series called you, New Year, New You, uh, What You Can Do to Live Your Best Life in 2018. And so over the past few days, we've talked about various um, success scaffolding and various aspects of that and various pillars of that whole framework. And so I will be doing another video today to continue on the, into that series. But I also wanted to take a little bit of time and talk about juicing. Um, because... It is a new year, and juicing has become a big part of my life, and juicing does make me feel great, and it's a great way to catapult you in your weight loss journey. It makes your skin look better. It makes you feel better. It makes the white in my eyes whiter, the blue in my eyes bluer, or in some cases on some days greener, um, and I think that with everyone sort of starting over in the new year, is there a cat here on my nose? On my nose! Uh, I think with everyone starting over in the new year, I think juicing is a great way um, to sort of uh, build momentum into whatever journey, your wellness journey that you have going on. Um, and I thought that I should mention it because I haven't really talked about it much lately. So that is what this particular video is going to be about. I did also want to mention that I uploaded a video last, well, I posted, if you're friends with me on Facebook, I posted a video last night on Facebook called what I learned from the ultimate betrayal. And um, I went ahead and grabbed the YouTube link and I posted it on Facebook. But when I posted it, the video was actually still processing on my YouTube app. So it wasn't really completely uploaded yet. So uh, my phone actually died in the middle of that process. And I didn't realize it until one of my friends reached out to me and said, hey, this video is not working. So I just went in and fixed that and finished that uploading process. So that link should work now. So if, uh, if you are interested in watching, and I'll also link to that in the description below, if you want to see my latest video that I uploaded yesterday, I'll, I'll actually, I uploaded two videos yesterday as well, or maybe even three videos yesterday. I uploaded one about Postmates, and if you're not interested in Postmates, then feel free to skip that video. Uh, I uploaded one about the ultimate betrayal, and then I uploaded one as part of my new YouTube series that I just spoke about, New Year, New You. So if you wanted to check out the um, ultimate betrayal video, uh, I have to admit, it's a little bit of a dark side of me, I guess. Uh, I had learned some information and felt betrayed. Um, and, uh, you know, it was just a moment in time. I'm, I'm over it now. I mean, I was over it years ago, to be honest. But, uh, and it's something that I sort of already knew in the back of my mind. But uh, I didn't really know for sure. And so I never really processed it all the way, I guess. Uh, and so more than anything, the, learning the truth Anytime the truth comes to light, even if it hurts a little bit, I think it's better than being in the dark and never really knowing something. So for me, it brought about some closure and just solidified the fact that I made the right decision in ending that relationship. Um, so anyways, if you're interested... Ugh, these rugs. So if you're interested in checking that out, please uh, do so. I will leave a link in the description below. So with that said, I'm going to move on with today's video. I'm not going to like... I'm, I'm trying not to make it long and drawn out. And it is going to be noisy because the juicer happens to be noisy. So, um, so today, uh, you, I, I've done this before. You guys have seen me do it before, but there's no harm in repetitiveness. Sometimes it takes us multiple, multiple times to make something become a habit. So I don't think it's going to hurt you guys to see uh, content about juicing again. If that's something that you're interested in. If not, then feel free to skip this video. So I'm going to set this tripod up and then we're going to get started. Uh, but real quickly... <clears throat> um, I have read over and over again that if, if a juicing regimen is something that you would like to stick to, then you may want to consider changing your vegetable selection up on a daily or weekly basis. And to be honest, I have no qualms or problems trying out new vegetables. The problem here is that oftentimes the rarer or the, the vegetables that are not as mainstream are really, really expensive. And I'm sort of a cheapskate. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm on a cheesecake. I'm frugal. I don't have a problem spending money on, you know, d delicious restaurants and, 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 and exotic luxury travel and stuff. But, uh, you know, anyways, everybody's got their own 
own uh, ways to deal with that kind of stuff. So uh, I just don't necessarily want to pay a ton of money for some vegetable when I can just eat another one and be just as satisfied and get the same nutrients anyways. So this may seem a little bit boring, uh, but I tell you what, this is a great way to start out if you're just starting out juicing. So basically I just take a bunch of kale, a stalk, sorry, a bunch of kale, okay? A stalk, just an entire stalk of celery, uh, about a pound of carrots. Uh, I had a two pound bag, so this is about half of them. A uh, pound of carrots here. Um, now, when I first started juicing, I would grab any old apples there were. So my, my local grocery store has a section of vegetables that are gonna go bad very soon and they sell them really, really cheap. And so I'll give you an example. So I, for example, I bought these apples off of there. Now, in the meantime, I have learned from other juicing YouTube people that there is a, a an apple that's really ideal for juicing. And there are, there are certain vegetables that are ideal for juicing. So in the apple, apples are, are great to add. To, so basically you use kale and celery as your base. Carrots add some sweetness. Uh, the apples add a little bit of sourness. These Granny Smith apples, they are great, great, great for juicing. And compared to these red, these are just like red gala apples or red delicious apples. They're like softer and they don't hold up as well and they don't juice as well. These provide much more juice and it gives the juice a little bit of tartness that I find very refreshing. Uh, and then the other thing is cucumbers. Now the cucumbers had, have been looking very um, like huge and perfect. Uh, this time, not so much. Actually, this you know what? This stuff did not come from Kroger's. This stuff came from Walmart. Um, maybe that's why. But these cucumbers leave a lot to be desired in my opinion. I mean, honestly, though, these look like more regular cucumbers that you would grow in your backyard. Um, for, actually, these are, these are about to go bad pretty soon, so I'm glad I'm juicing these. Um, anyways, without further ado, let's get on with the show. Okay. All right, so I'm going to... I'm going to set this up right here. Um, I think, right? Is this good? Or, you know what, guys? It might be better if I stick this up here and give you sort of a downward view. What you think? What you think? What you really, really think? Let's see if this works. Oh. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa do you, whoa do you, whoa. Okay, let's try this. Wait a minute. Uh, okay. Now, how's that? Actually, you know what? I need to do this. Okay. Sorry, I should have all this figured out, but I don't, so get over it. Get over it, please. If you please, if you please. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I hope that's even. Like, I'm using one of those tripods where you can, like, literally change every little thing. And it's hard, it's actually hard to get just right. It comes in handy, but okay. So I hope this gives you a good view of everything. I want you to see the juice to be coming out of here and I'm going to be, well, actually I'm not going to be chopping a little bit, but, and I'll explain that in a second. So here, here we go. Let's get on with the show. Okay. So I've heard a lot of people say that juicing is a nightmare and this is myself included at first that juicing is a nightmare and cleaning the juicer is really, really sucks. But you know what? Um, I can do all of this and clean everything up in just as much time as I can make a quick 30 minute meal as Rachel Ray would call it. So uh, don't let you know other people talk, talking about um, the fact that, don't let that stop you. If you've heard, let me get a towel real quick. If you've heard people talk about what a nightmare uh, cleaning up the juicer is, and that was me too. I think in, in previous videos, I also made that claim. But you, when you compare it to cooking a meal, uh, you know, there really is no more cleanup than you have to do anyway. So don't get your panties in a wad over that. Okay. All right, I hope you guys can see this. Now, when I first started juicing, I would actually cut the vegetables up, but let me make sure this works. Okay, so I would actually cut the vegetables up into like bite-sized, 
into like bite-sized chunks. But I learned that that is actually absolutely not necessary. Because this, this damn juicer does not play. I mean, it will just grind anything up you throw at it. So with that, we're gonna do this real quick. So I use a bowl. Uh, I think the juicer actually came with a certain specific container. I can't find mine. Actually, I think that, I don't, I don't know. We might've bought this second hand, I can't remember. So um, I just found this and I kind of prop it up like that, like so. Let me go, I'm gonna go back, go back around and make sure I can see, or make sure that you guys can see what I'm doing here. Okay, not really, can you? Is that better? I don't know the best way to do this, to be honest. Uh, how about we do that? And we tilt this down, like so. Am I zoomed in or zoomed out? Okay. Is that good? I'm gonna turn this a little, uh, I need to start getting some blue tape and like marking the perfect spot for this kind of stuff. I'm gonna move this over a little bit. I'm gonna tilt this around and now let's see if that works. Yeah, how's perfect is that? It's just perfect. Okay, here we go. So this is really self-explanatory. I just know that when I first started juicing, it was very intimidating. I'm like, I didn't know that you had to have so many vegetables. Like I literally, the first time I did it, we put in a couple of carrots and a half a cucumber and it made no juice. And I didn't realize that, you know, it, juicing takes quite a bit of vegetables. But the good news is that all the vegetables that I just showed you in this video that I'm, that I'm gonna juice today, the total amount of money for not only this, this is only half of the, the, the vegetables that I bought. The other half will be for me to juice in a couple of days from now. But I spent $7 on all of this vegetables. So it's really not expensive. Uh, oh, by the way, the only, one, the only stuff I will have to cut up, I will have to put, cut the apples in fourths. And, uh, and I'll have to cut, where's my turmeric? I'll have to cut my turmeric and stuff because I don't want to use it all. If you use ginger, is goes a little bit, goes a long way. Okay. Okay, here we go. Sorry, it's a little bit loud, I know. So I'm gonna go ahead and I like to do the kale first. Okay, and like you just drop that shit in here, okay? Oh, I forgot. It depends on it totally depends on the juicer. Like, I will show you guys in a minute if I remember. My wall is literally got I have to wipe off my walls and stuff. This stuff goes every day with um, Alright, so what I like to do is just press it down in there and then not push it all the way through. That that keeps the, the vegetable particles from flying all over the place. You see what I'm saying? So I don't like to push it all the way down. Because I don't need to particles to fly up everywhere. I'm actually probably going to have to use the other bunch of kale as well. So guys, I'm actually going to grab the other thing of kale that I have. That's really going to make it much easier this time. It's so funny, every time I go to Kroger's, the, the, lately, I guess it's probably, I guess they're not in season, um, but the, the bunches of kale keep getting smaller and smaller and smaller. I mean, this is a small bunch of kale compared to what I was getting like a month ago. Make sure you be careful, because I, if I wanted to, I could put my entire hand on there, and that would not be pretty, because you would be in the hospital. And you'd be without a hand. Alright. Whoa. Alright, so that's the kale. 
And so I used to chop these up, but now watch this. <laughs> Pretty crazy, huh? Same for carrots, but carrots do splatter a lot. Alright, and I usually do have to cut up the celery a little bit. As you can see, I've pretty much found the perfect mix of quantity to, to fill this bowl up pretty good. Believe me, that took me a while to figure out. Um, and then, so this is ginger. So I'm just gonna cut off, cut off a little nugget of ginger. And this is turmeric. So I'm gonna cut off a little thing of turmeric. Keep, keep your turmeric and your ginger in the freezer and it will last forever. So look, so check this out. It doesn't look very appetizing just yet, does it? Um, let me just clean this up real quick. All right, so the, now in my personal opinion, the foam that sort of gets at the top of the juice is not that great. So what I like to do is skim it off. Um, you may feel like you're wasting juice, but mm, a lot, some people stir it first. I don't, I think it's easier not to stir it first. I mean, you can, I mean, there's nothing wrong with drinking the foam, but to me, it like, ugh, I don't know, I don't like it. Me not like it. Me not like it, me not like it. Me not like it, me not like it. Okay. Um, oh, by the way, I didn't tell you guys, and I probably mentioned this in every video, the, the all three videos that I do today, but I got word from Nashville in Harmony, for those of you who follow me, follow my channel, that I made the choir. So I start singing with them on January the 20th. On January 20th, so I'm very excited about that. Um, there was competition. I thought at first, and I think I mentioned this in a previous video, I thought at first that, um, that as long as you could sing, you were sort of in the choir. But what I didn't know is that they only had a specific number of spots in each section. So there were, you, I was actually competing with other people. As, to my knowledge, there was only two spots um, in my section. And so I, after I learned that, I was kind of not as optimistic about it, even though I know I can sing. But, you know, I don't know how well I can sing in comparison to other people. I'm not like the best. I'm not like an American Idol contestant. Um, but 
um, I made it. So I'm very excited about that. So I will definitely be telling you guys more about that. And then if you're in the Nashville area, hopefully you can come and see some of our shows. Okay, anyway, moving on. So you guys, uh, I got rid of all the phones. So now I'm just gonna give it a, a nice stir. And does it look gross? I mean, it's green. There's no doubt about that. It's definitely green, but I'm telling you what, it's fucking delicious. Delicious and nutritious. Okay. I'm actually not gonna film me cleaning the juicer because maybe I'll do another video on that for those of you who has centrif centrif centrifugal, is that how you say it? Centrifugal, centrifugal. So for those of you who have centrifugal, is that how you say that? Centrifugal, centrifugal. Uh, juicers, uh, there, I didn't realize it at first. I was only cleaning them, cleaning them a certain way at first, but then they would sm smell like mildew the next day when I would go to juice again. So I had to learn how to clean off the, uh, the mesh, the, 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 the metal mesh grates that actually pulverize the juice, uh, properly so that it didn't do that anymore. So uh, maybe I'll do a video of that. If you're interested, give me a thumbs up. All right. So now I'm just going to plate it or not plate it. I personally, once it's been in the refrigerator, I keep mine uh, in the refrigerator for two or three days. It doesn't bother me at all. I'll probably drink all that tonight today. But uh, I actually, once it's been in the refrigerator, uh, it's fine. But I actually like mine with ice. So I just like to pour me a little bit. And something else I learned <laughs> is, look at that. Delicious green juice, yummo. Okay, the other thing that I learned is if you have a beer, no, actually it doesn't even matter. If you don't have a beer, even if you don't have a beer, if you drink this, glass to mouth, damn it, I want a straw. Surely I do. If you drink this glass to mouth, yes, I no, I don't. Motherfucker. If you drink this glass to mouth, it will stain your skin and your beer and your, you know, facial hair or whatever. So, I cannot believe I don't have a straw. That's crazy. Oh, wait. I have metal straws. Duh. Duh. Use a straw. All right. Here we go. Y'all ready? Y'all ready for this? Dun 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 Mmm. Delicious. It really is, guys. It's delicious. Now, I thought when I first started doing this, I thought it was going to taste like shit. I really did. It's delicious. The crispiness, the, the kick that you get from the ginger, the sourness from the green apples with the saltiness from the celery, the sweetness of the carrots, and using kale as, as, and celery, or kale as that base. It's, it's just, it's delicious. You guys have got to try it. Anyways, I know I've been going forever, so I'm going to end this video. Bid you guys farewell. As always, thank you so much for checking out my channel. If you're not subscribed, already, please take a second to subscribe. If you like this video in particular, give me a thumbs up. And of course, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, concerns, or if you think I'm cute, please let me know in the comments below. And as always, enjoy yourself.